you're 26. We've worked hard to improve the typing experience for Angular developers. For those of you who have worked with the grid before, you'll be very familiar with the fact that when working with the component, the types of every property is any. If I press F12 here, you can see every single property has the type any. So as a developer, you've been forced to visit our documentation site to know what types you need to apply here. And this is something we wanted to improve for you. So if we now look at the same Angular code against version 26.1 and hover over the properties, you'll now see we have the correct type definition. So here we now have it's an array of column definitions or group definitions. And if we step into this with F12, you'll now see every property has its accurate typings as well as the description about what this property represents. To see the improvement this will give you as a developer, let's go back to version 25 and say we want to add a row style. So we add a row style. We're not 100% sure how we're meant to do this. So maybe we just start writing it as a, as a string. Ground color is, let's say, green. If we save, yeah, this compiles, but this won't work in our grid because it's not actually what AG Grid is expecting. Whereas if we take this same code and now apply it to our version 26, you'll see we are now getting an error. So it's saying this background green string is not assignable to row style. So we can now step into this type definition and see what row style is. And we see it's now actually a CSS property string to a string or number. So this means we can go back and correct our definition without having to visit the AG Grid docs to see what is the correct way of doing it. So we hope that you'll find these new types and new JS docs comments helpful and going forward your developer experience will be much nicer.